I've been playing around with orbits a lot, so I've made this little thing where my mouse is controlling what I'm calling Earth, the pale blue dot. The sun stays in the center, but they constantly point at each other and they can't get too close. That's as close as they can get. And then this ray of light stretches between them. So I'll show you how to make this. So here I am in game lab on code.org, and the first thing I'm going to do is create a couple of animations and I'm just going to draw my own. So I'll grab the circle tool and hold down shift to make a nice perfect circle and then I'll paint one of them blue. If you've never seen the pale blue dot you should look that up YouTube. And I'll call this one Earth. Another one. Actually you know what's easier. I'll just duplicate right here. Just change the color for the sun. And we'll call this one sun. Okay so we have enough to get started and now I'm just going to make sprites for both of those and animations. I'll do all that above the draw loop. Sun, 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 earth, earth, earth. And 200, 200 is the center of the screen, so that's a good spot for the sun. Will the earth to be somewhere else, so we'll just put it at 100, 100. Just so we can see them both, and then we need to draw it on the screen with plus price. We'll put that inside. Okay, that looks good. They're kind of big, so let's go ahead and uh, scale them down. So grab sprite.scale. So scale, we can make it half that size. Okay, and that works. Now I'll go ahead and give it a black background. I'm going to put that for now inside the draw loop. It's starting to look like I want. Now I need to add some control to the earth. So to do that, I'm going to grab a sprite.x and sprite.y and put them inside the draw loop. And I want to set both of those to the mouse's value, which is world mouse x and world mouse y. And make sure you call those earth. Okay, so I'm not going to take it anywhere. But there's no real connection to uh, the sun there. So uh, the next thing I want to do is make it where uh, the earth cannot get too close to the sun. Like there needs to be a bit of a buffer here, right? So I'm going to make a new sprite to do that. And I'll put it back, and I'll just call it buffer. And I'm going to set it to an animation called buffer that I haven't made yet. So for this to be, so you can see it a little better, I'm going to take this background and pull it out just for now. Uh, oh yeah, that doesn't exist yet. Let's take that out. Okay, so here's what we've got, right? All right, so I'm going to set that gray box to an image called buffer. That's what I forgot to do a second ago. And that gray box is going to turn into a much larger circle. And this one we're going to paint black so it blends into the background. I'll crop that image. Did I crop these? Yeah, I did. Okay. I need to change that name to buffer. All right, so now I want to add that in. You can't see it, but it's there. Here's how I can prove that to you. Well, I can't prove it to you. Oh, yeah, check that out. So you see how it's hiding, but it's back behind there? Let's make him a little bigger, too. Right, let's try again. So it looks like he's not there, but when you start filling in, you start seeing where he is. All right? So now that we've got that, we just need to set some interaction between our Earth and that buffer. So let me put the background back in so you can't see all the different ones. And we just need to set a bounce in here. So we're going to say Earth needs to bounce the buffer. And now I can't go inside that area. Maybe bounce isn't even the right thing. Let's try collide. Yeah, I don't see much difference. Let's check this out. I'm going to take the background back out so you can see all of them. Check this out. Like I can't get close to it, but I can go all down here. And as I start filling in, you start to notice something about it. Our barrier. You see, even though we drew it as a circle, it's popping up as a square. That's pretty cool, right? And the reason for that is, uh, let me define debug here. Uh, all sprites by default are squares. So let's put a little box around the sun just because it's easy to see. We're going to say debug equals true without quotes. And when we do, you can see even though it's a circle, computer reads it as a square. So that is also true of the buffer. See, it's a circle, but it's inside of a, a square box. So we can change that. But by default,
default, it's always going to be that way. So let's say buffer set collider. We're going to change that from rectangle to circle. Now we have this beautiful circular shape. And once you've got that fixed, you can pick your buffer. I mean, you can pick your debug off to get rid of the green box. Okay, so we're almost there. And the only other thing is uh, in my model here, they were pointing towards each other with a black line. So to do that, um, let's go back to the code first. Inside the loop, we're going to do a thing called point two. Yeah. So we're going to make Earth always point to the sun's x and the sun's y. So you can't tell which direction the Earth is pointing unless you have some something to indicate that in the animation itself. So you can take any of these and just draw on them. The front is going to be this right side. So what we'll do is we'll just make a line there. Whoops. So now whenever I draw him, he's always facing in that direction. And we can do the same thing for the sun, so we can give him a, a front direction. That went well. And then I'm going to copy this guy, paste him, and just and just alternate the names. So Earth's always going to point to, I mean, sun's always going to point to Earth's X and X is Y. So now they're pointing at each other all the time. I'll put the background back in. And then if you wanted to connect those two little lines on the sprite with a, an actual line, uh, that's the last thing I had in this example here. Right? Two lines are connected. Uh, we can do that down here. So we're going to draw, and we want to make it show up, so we're going to give it a color using stroke. We'll do that as white. And then we're going to draw a line from sun.x, sun.y, to earth.x, earth.y. It can be long, it can be short, up to the buffer. At this point, you might want to actually shrink the size of the buffer so your line can get longer. You can get a short line and a long line, and they can follow each other around. And then if you want to see all the lines to make some sort of pretty art, you can just drag this background out of the loop, reset it, and now you can do this kind of stuff, which is pretty fun. Yeah, so that's all I've got. Uh, hopefully this helps you make something cool, and if you want to share what you made, in the comments, just go on for to share. Post that link so we can all see what you've made. All right, thanks.